going on guys? I'm not exactly sure how to introduce this because this is, I'm going into an area that most people know nothing about. And by nothing, I mean nothing. I have a little skill, it's called graphology. I'm able to analyze people by the way they write. It's about 80% accurate. And so I see somebody, I get that impression, and then I'll see something that they write. Those Christmas cards, whatever. And like this light comes on and they could be like, can't wait to see you soon. And I'll see that and I'll be like, you're lying. You don't wanna see me, you're just being courteous because our society wants us to be nice. So today I'm gonna to pick on Casey. Casey Neistat, hopefully I pronounced his last name right. But I see different people on YouTube. I see right through them or you get that vibe. But then I see other evidence, body language and things that give me details about that person and are they legit or are they just you know full of crap when i came onto youtube a few months ago someone said hey you gotta check out this guy's site and i've been watching you for a few months now and i was like huh who is this guy took some time to look for some videos footage of yours where you use some handwriting and this is what i found casey likes attention of course he does he likes to be on camera he's vlogging it matches them. So I was like, hey, that's a great fit, what you're doing. I see a lot of resentment and frustration in your life. From your little storybook, you've had a hard life. You have every reason to have that. So that fits. You're sensitive. You probably never see it, but Casey is sensitive on the inside and he's tough on the outside. Uh, he has a good amount of drive, you know, to keep pushing, push the limits, keep pushing. And so far, everything that I've seen is exactly who you see on camera. You have a lot of Xing in your writing, and in this particular area is defined as uh, resentment to authority. Granted, you did walk out of the house at 15. I'm like, you know, mom, dad issues. I'm like, okay, that fits. In your letter E's, in school we're taught to write it in four strokes. You know, you got down, one, two, three. Casey does it in three. So what this means is that he's creative, he's witty, he found a shortcut. So other people that have this trait would be guys like Rush Limbaugh or you know other uh, smart people. And it probably helps him express himself creatively and uh, on point when he's talking to you. Excellent trait to have. On the letter P, you have a little V shape on it. I only, I've only seen it once and you'll see it in the pictures. That means you like to argue and debate. I don't know if it's a dominant trait, but it's there that one time. The letter I, your eyes are all lowercase i dots. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Usually it reflects of uh, lack of formal education. And you, you know, you did admit to dropping out. So I mean, match, ding, you know. But then I finally found it as a pronoun. It was a lowercase i dot. And so I'm like, boom, I got him. This basically comes from your parents, your relationship from your mom and your dad, and your identity that you receive from them. Uh, and it affects your self-esteem, it affects your identity. Hey, you admit it. You walked out of the house at 15, your parents got divorced, your dad was gone a lot working. Pieces are missing or you were neglected in certain areas as a child and didn't get that development. And it's awesome that you're taking care of your family now. Okay, the Canon camera video. Okay, there is a suggested trait. And I'm, I'm taking a leap of faith here, putting it all on the line. But when you did that Canon camera review about the microphone, the way you hold it, and anyway, your little fixeroo problem, I wanna know if from that point and before, like a month or so, a couple weeks to a month, did you have a, a head injury, a concussion, or, or something going on? I mean, it could have been tonsils were taken out, it could be anything, but it was suggesting that you had an injury in this area, maybe a neck, but I don't see it anywhere else before or, well, I don't know when these half these things were written, but just that one segment, uh, I was like, man, he must have bumped his head, uh, but I don't know. So if you ever see this, you can let me know if I'm right or not, or if I'm just like <laughs> voodoo psychic. Now, some people think I'm psychic. I am not psychic. The way handwriting works, is you're taught to do it, you master it to memory, you can close your eyes and write. You might move outside the lines or whatever, but, and then your subconscious tweaks it to its own. And we go, oh, that person has beautiful writing. To me, that is dirt, that is information. The way we do it, how we change from certain traits. 
The same reason like in the prison system, 70% of those guys have what we call a felon's clot in the writing, uh, which is a suppression of guilt. I think Casey's consistent with who he is. But I do see people on YouTube, I'm like, that guy is the biggest phony baloney out there. They're pretending to be something they're not. Casey's the standard in the video stuff. I mean, people do time lapses before. It doesn't matter. Casey's the standard on that now. Casey, Casey, Casey. He's the standard for all the, the vlogging out there. And so anyone who does something or copies him, you know, <laughs> Casey's the standard. So must be totally nice to be that standard. I can't tell what type of car you drive or what cereal you eat. Some people think I can. I got people asking about love advice. Me and my boyfriend gonna make it? <laughs> If you're asking me, probably not. I, I see a different side of people. Take it for what it's worth. If uh, you're feeling bored and you want something analyzed, send it my way. If I'm not busy, I'll, I'll take a crack at it. If you have secrets and you're worried about that, don't send me your stuff. I have people that, that have been abused that I'm like, hey, you've been abused. And I may not be the most tactful person in the world. I try, but I'm a little rough around the edges. Usually they're like, look at my girlfriend's writing. I'm like, yeah, she's a nutcase or whatever. Like, I knew it. Peace out. Have fun. Take care of each other. Bye.